Welcome, in front of me is a Poco F6 and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. To get started, let's open up our settings. There we go. And we can start off by navigating into notifications and status bar. Here we have a couple of things like, for instance, this, uh, how many notifications will be visible. Now, by default, the device comes with only one icon, uh, which for people that want to see their notifications in the status bar, this is, I would say, not enough. So you might want to select it to three. Uh, and for people that are looking, obviously, for a clean look, you probably don't care about these icons, so you will select none. One is in this limbo state where it doesn't give you enough information and it's just annoying. Uh, now, below that, uh, we'll also have the option for battery somewhere, I believe. Wherever it was. Oh, yeah, there we go, battery indicator. So you have a couple of options to display battery. Now by default, it actually comes with uh, one that I like the most, which is the percentage inside of the battery. Obviously, if it's hard for you to see it, you can switch it so the percentage is outside. It's also going to be a bigger font, making it easier to see. Um, and obviously, if you don't really care about the percentages, you can just choose to not display it at all. Now, moving to home screen, and here have a couple more things like home screen style. So this is actually an option that you can choose uh, when you're going to the setup uh, of your device. So if you've chosen the wrong one, you can switch it right here. I personally prefer the app drawer, which is uh, what I'd consider the classic for Android, as this is an Android. Um, so that's what I will. Uh, that's what I'm always going to set up. Uh, but if you like all your apps smack in the middle of your home screen, you can choose the classic one. Now, um, going back to the main home screen page right here, and we also have things like animation speed, though this one doesn't really impact this that much, so you can kind of see how quick this window opens up. Oops, not this one. Let's switch it to fast. I honestly can't tell the difference here. Um, maybe just change some other ones, but if you really want to mess around with uh, animation speeds, I would recommend going through the developer options. In there, you will find things like animation duration scale, animation transition scale, and animation duration scale. Uh, these three options will define how quick uh, some of the different um, animations happen as they are categorized in different ways so for instance this is the window animation scale how quick it opens up while things like the transition scale this one uh, is a separate option and by default they will all be set to point uh, or 1x but again select it to be 0.5x which will decrease the animation by half making it twice as fast so obviously a very noticeable difference now, anyway, moving on to the next thing, we're going to navigate to display and brightness. And in here, you will find the dark mode. So we have dark mode options. You also have dark mode based on individual apps, which is a pretty neat option. Um, but you also have the uh, switch to dark mode and you can select it to switch automatically uh, either from sunset to sunrise or on a custom timer, which gives you even more versatility. Now, moving further down in the display and brightness, we have color scheme. And here we have a couple options to make your device a bit more saturated or less saturated uh, with colors. I personally like my device less saturated, so I will go with something like the advanced options right here and choose something like the P3 or sRGB gamut right here, though I have no clue how close it is as I don't have a way to measure it supposed to be color accurate that's kind of the point of these names um but as you can see it doesn't really give you any kind of details about this so i, I could basically say that any display is srgb it might be like two percent of srgb or something like that but hey it possibly could be so anyway um this is just more of a preference if you have a tool to check the uh, the coloration of the display. That's fantastic. You can see if this is actually correct. Uh, and obviously you can also tap on the images right here or no, on the options and you will see that the pencils right here change. So how saturated they look like. Now personally, the original Color Pro looks to me the best. So that's what I'm going to actually stick with. Now, continuing on to the refresh rate here, you can select from a uh, couple options. It shows two, but under custom, you can actually change it uh, from 60 to 120. 
this will permanently run the dis uh, display in this res refresh rate for people that want to prioritize battery life you might want to select 60 but for everyone else i recommend the default option as it's basically utilizing both of the options uh trying to preserve battery and also giving you the highest refresh rate that you will need at a given moment now below that we also have ai image engine and here we have things like super uh, resolution which just tries to upscale an image to make it look sharper now this does use your processor so it will consume more of your phone's battery and then below that we have ai hdr enhancement which just tries to do a fake hdr of content so if you have a standard dynamic range content meaning literally everything that you'll probably be watching on youtube and everything like that uh, the device will try to convert it to high dynamic range so it will look a little bit better though keep in mind this is fake one so some things might look off with this and it might not be as good as obviously a dedicated uh, high dynamic range would be now continuing on let's move over to the I believe it was home screen which i did skip right here below here we have system navigation so you have buttons and gestures as an option i prefer gestures so that's what i'm gonna select it asks me if i want to learn it i don't have to i already know how to use it and also in here something that you don't see throughout the setup process you have the option to hide full screen indicator which is this bar at the bottom and once you hide it it just becomes invisible uh, while retaining uh, the gesture navigation as it was before just without that indicator there so there we go that would basically conclude the tweaks and the tricks that i want to show you now if you found this very helpful don't forget to smash like subscribe and thanks for watching